let's talk about nature and nurture and essentially what is fair fair was happens in august in kentucky it's in louisville it lasts for about two weeks you can go see some pigs some cows you can ride some uh, carnival rides uh, but as far as life being fair i don't believe in it that's a victimhood mentality anytime you're chanting where is the fair nature and nurture you know whose fault is it uh, let's talk about two sets of brothers real real fast i know of two sets of brothers uh pretty personal to me uh the first set of brothers born slightly below the poverty line same mom and dad so genetically same same genetics, uh, so nature-wise, the identical. The nurture side, raised just three years apart, went through the same schools, uh, same, same mom making the same decisions, maybe bouncing the same checks, that kind of thing. No big deal, times were tough. Those two brothers, though, chose completely separate paths. One brother went on to pursue hard work, uh, pour himself into his studies, maybe anything he, he could do to elevate himself. You know, the idea was that one day he would give his kids better than, than he had. The other brother took us a completely different turn, uh, lived a wild life, turned to alcohol, which turned to drugs, and now jail. If you ask the two brothers why they are where they're at today, they both blame their upbringing. Seems kind of wild to me. Now let's talk about the other two sets of brothers. Lived kind of a wealthy life. Matter of fact, I would have been jealous of them growing up in high school. Both moms and dads, six-figure salaries, uh, had what they wanted, trucks, guitars, toys, uh, lots of time to pursue maybe sports or whatnot. One brother chose to uh, pour himself into his studies, his work, and use those opportunities as a way to uh, gain experiences and again, achieve and give his family better than even he had. The other brother used that extra time and went into a, a deviant type of lifestyle. Again, alcohol, drugs, and now jail. If you ask the two individuals, the two brothers, why are you, why are you where you're at today? They both blame their upbringing and their parents. You know, how they, so again, what is the moral of this story here? It's choice, choices. Nobody is to blame for where you're at when you're 30, 40, 50 years old, but you. You know, life is 90% uh, or 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react. So that should be a, an awesome awakening for you because it really doesn't matter where you're at right now. It's what are you going to do with it that counts. So hopefully you guys like this video. We'll be putting out more videos on our YouTube channel. So subscribe to that and also check out our website. We have links and we also have shop for clothing and a virtual tour. Until next time, see you there.